Welcome, welcome. I have a topic that is near and dear to my heart because I have been there. We've all been there at some point. And this is about how do you have a successful price increase when you know that you've been thinking about it, raising your rates and it is finally time to get it done. I'm Warren Fogelman with Business Success Solution. And let's face it, when you're thinking about raising rates, it's not like you automatically do it tomorrow. It is something that you're looking at, you're contemplating, maybe you're doing some research, you're losing some sleep over it, you're wondering what the fallout will be. Will you be losing all your clients if you tell them that you're increasing your rates because you feel that they're all price sensitive? So those are some of the things that go through our mind before we actually implement that raise, raising rates, the price increase. So I'm going to share six steps as to how to, what to do when you're ready to tell your clients about your new rates. The very first thing is don't tell them about justifying it with a price increase uh, regarding increased overhead for you or anything like that. They, they don't want to hear, hear it. Nobody wants to get your business expenses passed on to them. So what you want to do instead, number one, is lead with benefits. You want to focus on them and what matters to them and how you might be able to help them with achieving the things that are their objectives and what they want to achieve maybe over the next 12 months, if not even longer. Because the bottom line is when you're looking to raise your fees, your clients need to believe that what they have to gain from continuing to invest in your services are greater than the fees that they're paying you for those services. So once again, lead, lead benefits, focus on what's of value to them so that they can see the reason to continue to engage your firm services. Number two is the client experience. So many firm owners are client-centered. You care deeply about your clients and making a difference. And you know what is possible on how to be able to get their financials stronger so that they can go ahead and focus more on their own business, serving their clients and business development. So think about how you can invest in the client experience and that your clients, especially the ones that are not price sensitive, which is most of your clients, what they care about is access to you. They care about response time when they have a question or they need to have a meeting with you to run something by you. They want to have some training or maybe they want you to train their service, their, their staff. It's possible that they might need some additional services and also they care about the fact that it's not transactional and that you actually know who they are and that it matters to you. So the client experience is number two. The third thing when raising your rates, and this is something I don't typically see, but it is something that absolutely grabs attention, is bonuses. We all love feeling like we're getting something extra thrown in because we're a valued client or a valued customer. Think about the fact that bonuses, they really show your appreciation for someone choosing to work with you and engage in your firm services instead of going in another direction. What is something extra that you can add in that might not really take a hit to your bottom line, but your clients would highly value? Think about that. Is it a resource? Maybe there's a video training. Maybe there's something else you can add in and you know that that has value to the clients, but it doesn't really take much extra on your end to be able to share it with them. But it feels very, very generous. Number four is confidence. Before you raise your rates, you have to connect with the fact that you and your firm services are worth the new fees that you're gonna be charging your clients. So you have to connect with your value before you can expect others to recognize the value that you offer. And what you really want to do is recognize that, yes, there are some people that will question your fee increase. And if they feel that you have any doubts or you're wavering or they know you and you're a nice person, you like to please people, you don't want to upset anybody, and they know that if there's any pushback, you'll probably cave in, then that is something that's going to backfire. And once again, Really be aware that difference you make for your clients. Maybe you want to look at your client list and write down five ways you made a significant impact for your clients where you really did something exceptional or you really helped them through a tight spot 
or you walk them through something that made it different regarding decision making and how that led to a better than expected outcome. So once again, connect with the difference you make, build confidence around what you offer and why they ought to connect with you, commit with you, continue working with you. And that's going to really help you stick with your uh, decision to raise your fees as opposed to caving in as soon as there's any pushback. And that goes right into number five, which is commit. This is where if you're going to raise your fees, simply commit to it. Stand by it. Don't waffle. And maybe if there's pushback, you give a discount or you make more excuses than necessary. Really stand by it. Be firm about it. Commit to it. And if somebody is going to raise questions about it, be polite. Don't take it personally. Once again, stand by the decision that you made. It is, I'm going to let you know that confidence sells. And if you can stand by this, commit to that decision that you made, then your clients, yes, they might have a little bit of pushback, but they're going to go ahead and continue working with you because they know you, you know them. And it's so much easier to continue forward with someone who's a known entity than starting all over again from scratch. Okay, the next one is objections. Let's face it, there are some people who always want to know why you're doing this. How come it happened this way? They have objections about anything and everything. Do not let the objections throw you off or once again, second guess whether this was a good decision and backpedal. Instead, prepare for them. If you know the top objections you're going to get from clients and one is why are you charging more? What else are you going to give me maybe? Uh, I have to run this by my partner, but think about what your top objections are. I would say come up with five, then prepare for them. Write out a soundbite of how you would like to respond to that. And here's an advanced move. Go ahead and practice out loud, actually respond to that objection. Because when you practice it out loud, the way that you say things out loud, speaking is different than when you actually write out the script. And when that objection comes up and it's time for you to respond to it, I want it to be in a casual way where you're able to just talk it through as opposed to sounding stiff and scripted. So once again, know the top five objections you might get. Write out that soundbite and then do a dress rehearsal and practice it out loud so that when it actually comes up, you can just go ahead and speak in a conversational manner instead of getting all flustered and caught off guard and your know, client knows that you're really nervous. Okay, and then the last one, this is like a bonus one that I'm throwing in there, is positive expectations. If you've been delaying it for a while, raising your rates, you know that it's time to finally make this happen, there's no better time than right now, then... Yes, there are some clients that might not like it at first. Let's agree, none of us like it when we know that there's going to be a price increase that we have to pay for. But I want to let you know, if you're client-centered, you've been investing in your client, and you haven't touched your fees for quite a while, they know that they've been getting a great deal, and it's time to correct that. And a lot of them have been just waiting for you to make this happen. So I want to say, do it. The majority of clients, especially when you have a client-centered relationship as opposed to a transactional one, they will stick with you, they will pay your new fees, and they know that you are going above and beyond, that you have their best interests at in heart. Anyway, those are the steps when sharing with your clients about your new rates is lead with benefits, invest in the client experience, give some bonuses, shows gratitude and appreciation, have confidence, commit to your new prices, prepare for objections. And the bonus one, number seven, is come to, the, come to this following through with positive expectations that the clients that really value you, that you love, will stay with you. And that the ones that probably you secretly wish they would go away, they might go away and you'll end up still being able to earn more. It might even free up some of your time which lets you devote more time to your current clients who highly value you, maybe focus on some business development or get back some of your free time without taking a hit to your bank account. 
I'm just going to say, if you've been thinking about it, once again, do it. Now is the best time for you to do this. I believe that you can make this happen and you will get better results than expected. And after you do it, you will wonder why you waited, waited so long. So if that interests you, then why don't you go ahead and grab my Raise Your Rates calculator to be able to start removing the price and guesswork and know where your rates ought to be. That is at businesssuccesssolution.com forward slash calculator. Once again, it's my Raise Your Rates calculator so you remove the price and guesswork at businesssuccesssolution.com forward slash calculator. Let me know what you think about this. Reshare. Give me some feedback as to what resonated with you, what you took away, what you're doing to be able to get your prices up so they reflect the value that you deliver to your clients. Lauren Fogelman, Business Success Solution, showing accounting professionals how to double their income, working half the time.